bit more video. I just met a lovely girl. Such a friendly face, so happy. She was um, a walker, but she was running with her six. She looked really like she was having fun though. Yeah. I just thought I'd put the video on a bit before we start going up a steep bit of the hill. The reason I'm also videoing is quite often I used to video this bit on the way out of it on a walk. Now I have to make this the way home back to Bitnola. God, look at the scene now. And it will get more glorious, as I said. It will get more glorious as the day goes on. I got a feeling I could be very late home today. I'll tell you why. Because the trains don't run as frequently as the buses and they don't match up but I don't care usually you can buy a drink on the station these days and I gotta get a paper and I've got food but it doesn't really matter if I get back later if I don't get back till nine o'clock who cares it doesn't matter There's a few scraggy sheep over there. So if you can't see with this, if you find her up home in, finger down. That's if you're taking a picture, but I'm doing video. So I don't have to put the finger down. They look happy little sheepies. They're really enjoying eating those fresh leaves of the blueberries. And see all this here? See all this bracken? All looking dead and that. Look carefully at these green shoots. As the summer goes on, these will grow nine foot tall. At the moment you can see quite a bit. And there is a path going up there, by the way. I haven't done it for a long time. I can't remember where it takes me out. But I have done it. I know I've done it once. Probably even got it on a video. Yeah, a few sheepies down there. Munching away. I might have some small ones. Well, they might be giving birth soon. Foraging away, like little foraging sheepies. And there's a couple that look like they're asleep. There's one sat on a log. Let me just zoom in. He's sat on the log, isn't he? Let me have a look. See how far I can get right in, look. Little lammy. Isn't he sweet? There's another this little lamb there as well. Yeah, two little lambs there. She's feeding. That's what they do eat, but they probably have a bit of milk. Yeah, you can get up a path there and get up on the top. There's a path on the top there. Ladies' Edge, I think it's called. I do that sometimes when I'm going past the memorial trees. Of course, what I miss about Alberta, like I said, you know, there's no panic when you've got your van. You just go back when you feel like it. I used to be out here to wait half eight at night. Before it got dark, I'll be saying, get back Sheila before the sun sets. And Alberta would be there. A hot flask. Something to eat. 
And of course I used to go elsewhere with her. So I do miss my van. But this year is not a good year for taking any risks with vehicles because we don't know what's happening in the world. We don't know anything really. We don't know what, how we're going to cope with being frozen to death next year. I don't know if I've got to move. Um, there's too many uncertainties to take. So I'm doing day trips. I want to go to Bath. Start going to Bath and exploring it. Um, Totnes I want to do again. But I need to do these in the summer when I'm doing exploring. Babbling Brook. Same old brook. Right, I'm going to turn off a bit for the video.